Nashville is known as the Music City, but today at the Fairgrounds Speedway, Nashville it will be known for speed and some big names in today's super late model field, including Stephen Assey out of Florida, plus the lady Molly Helmet from the west coast of the United States. Donnie Wilson will be very tough here today as we battle for 100 laps. Contact! Contact! Short Track America rocks the Music City. Super late models on the big stage in Nashville, Tennessee with the North-South Challenge 100. Hello everybody, I am Bob Dillner, Jim Trado alongside a tri-sanctioned race for super late model drivers. Some of the best in America. This race will be intense here today. 100 laps, the same four tires, and we have drivers from as far away as Texas, to Mississippi, to Michigan, and around this great state of Tennessee, we're gonna see some great action. We have a track champ amongst us. We've got some really talented drivers that know how to get it done, but that 100 laps, Bob, that's gonna be huge on tire management. I think the veterans might have something for these young guns. Casey Roderick trying to go for three wins in a row in this race, standing by with Dylan Smith. Here at the Nashville Fairgrounds, standing by with Casey Roderick. Casey's starting 12th today. Casey, you've come from deeper. Does that give you any more experience, any thought process into how to get this race done today? Yeah, we just got to be patient today. Uh, we've got a good race car. We shouldn't be starting back here, but uh, you know, under the, the rain circumstances uh, and how we did practice and qualifying, uh, put us back here a little bit. Uh, I feel like those guys put on a lot more tires and uh, you know, we, we didn't buy any tires here this weekend except for our race set. So, uh, you know, I think we got a really good car. Just got to be patient and uh, make the right moves at the right time. Guys, I talked to Casey earlier. He said that they struggled during practice, but afterwards they found something that they thought would make their car perfect for the race. Casey Roderick going for three in a row. And we'll take a look at where we are here with the Fairground Speedway in Nashville, right in the capital city of Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, and this is a historic place. I love the fact that when you roll in here, you feel like you're somewhere that has had a lot of history, not only in the fairgrounds, but this racetrack has produced so many great NASCAR drivers, and the weekly racing here is second to none. Casey Roderick occupies some of the headlines going into this race. He will start 12th. But this is truly a civil war on wheels, a battle of the North drivers versus the South. And Bob, as we assemble here at one of the meccas of short track racing, there's three different sanctioning bodies awarding their own series points. The ARCA CRA Super Series, the Southern Super Series, and the Car Super Late Model Tour. And we've got some local standouts, including last year's track champ, Michael House in the one car. Michael House, very excited to be here indeed, battling up against some of the best Super Late Model competition in America, including three-time past South champion, Matt Craig. Bobby rolled out with a brand new Rowdy chassis. They shook it down Monday for 35 laps in Hickory and put it to the trailer and said, let's do this. We are where we want to be. Look for this team who is fastest in practice to move forward from that fifth starting spot. And you might recognize that Rowdy name in terms of Rowdy chassis owned by Rowdy himself. NASCAR Cup Series champion Kyle Busch. The field getting ready to go green flag for 100 laps here today. And this race rescheduled from yesterday when we had Mother Nature rear her ugly head. 100 laps, the total distance here today. This track is treacherous. It's worn out, it's old, and you have the same set of tires, which means you really need to manage. But how much do you manage? Because these cars up front are so fast. We saw them in practice set the pace. A lot of teams are chasing the speed we find in that first handful of rows. Rocket ships with wheels. That's what a super late model is. One to go until we go green flag racing. Here is the starting lineup for the North-South Super Late Model Challenge. Scotty Thomasick and Josh Brock on the front row for this one. But a little bit deeper in the field, we see some big names. Bob, this field is stacked. Gio Brabanti's in the field. He's already got a couple of wins this year. And Conor Prezik, a young man on the rise on the national scene. A lot of young kids, teenagers, in the field here today. And they use super late models to climb the proverbial ladder into the upper echelons in racing. Whether it be the Arca Menard series or maybe someday, if they're lucky enough, going to NASCAR. Time to get this one kick in here. They're on the gas already, firing at a turn number four.
Josh Brock makes it look easy. He grabs that lead and look at the number two. That is a brand new Rowdy Manufacturing Chassis Race Car 2 for Oklahoma City's Donnie Wilson. I noticed a lot during practice, Bob, what paid off for the drivers first and second. Now, Josh Brock and Donnie Wilson started on the outside of the first and second rows. As we go deep in the field here, they knew the outside line may have a factor. They practiced a lot on the upper groove here. That got them the advantage early here. The Inspector of Thermal Solutions onboard camera for the man that leads the ARCA Series Super Series points coming into this one. Jack Dossi the third. There's the 81. Giovanni Bramani. He's out of Long Island, New York, and he's had a red hot start to the year. He's in a good piece. Anthony DeCampi comes fully prepared. This car was a winning car last year with Chase Purdy. Now we get Gio back in the seat, Bob. He came back from injury. What an impressive start to 2019 he had. Yeah, he had a difficult year last year indeed. Josh Brock, uh, what a great story for him. We look at the battle for third right now, though, between Tomasic and Johnny Van Dorn. Uh, Van Dorn has run the last couple of years in Super League model competition. Uh, he's won three championships in the ARCA CRA Super Series. Doesn't get to run as often as he used to in his younger days. Well, he's also got a young family now. He and his brother Butch do everything together on this race car. They both, those brothers, have had babies in the last six months. So seeing how things play out as they mature here, they are all about speed. Though Johnny was working extremely hard during that practice yesterday. I think he made more changes on that car than most everyone else in the pit area. Yeah, Johnny was telling me uh, he went for pictures with his wife.